What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So glad to see you all here again today. I feel like it's been a while since we just got out there and fished besides that potholes trip that turned out to be a mess for me. I know there's some really good fish in here so I'm pretty excited to get out there. We got some nice small mouth in this lake, some nice large mouth. I pretty much just want to get out there, get a few nice fish on video, but now that I'm under the trees it's kind of hard to tell but it is raining pretty hard and that's how the few, last few days in Washington have been. It's just been a mess lately. So it's really been hard to film, especially with my nice camera. I don't want to ruin that again. That does not matter because the only thing that matters today is catching fish. That's going to be our goal. We're going to catch as many nice fish as we can and uh, hopefully we have a blast out here. Don't get too wet. Sometimes you just got to take that risk and uh, get wet for you to catch some nice fish. Woo! Like that cold drop of water that just went down my back. And I'm super excited to get out there. So once he does get here, we're gonna head out to this beautiful lake and catch some nice fish. See you guys soon. He just got done doing like a John boat to a uh, bass boat conversion. Now we just gotta get some big old fish in here. Come on, Bessie. Yes. We got it, guys. We're headed around the corner. He's never been here either, so that's gonna be the kind of issue right now. We have no idea how to fish this lake. This is what happened last time we went fishing too. First time fishing a lake, but sometimes that's fun. It's a fun challenge. So we're gonna head around this corner and uh, get to fishing and uh, hopefully catch some biggins. Here's a fish. Yep. Come on, buddy. Watch my rod. Oh, yeah. You got one? Yep. We're hooked up, guys. It's a dink. Oh, he's a Is six inch. Perch? Hey, first Lake Sawyer fish. Look at him down there. He's a small <laughs> First one of the day. Eating that Fisher Brothers Baits DS Minnow. I sure hope you got pliers. It's just back in his gullet. But there we go, guys. First little smallmouth. Now, I mean, we are looking for this. He's bleeding too. We need to get this hook out real quick. But that's definitely the species we're looking for anyway. Yep. Future giant. Yep, hopefully. <laughs> I didn't even know he was on because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> that's my goal for today. If you guys saw the last video, no, not the last video, the one before that, where we went to potholes, I broke off, I think, 15 to 20 times just that one day. It's because I was just setting the hook too hard, I think. So that's the goal for today. Don't break off so many times. I'm getting bit, just to let you know. Okay, it's the color. Does that one feel better? I uh, know, he's still small. It's a little better. I bet he's a half pound, half pound. Or I'm crazy, I don't know. Oh no, he's better. Yeah, he's better. I was a little off on the weight. Oh, it's a largey. It's a largey. He's not half God, damn, He might be a half pound, actually. All right, bring out, we're bringing out the scale. <laughs> you have one? Yeah, of course. I said, I said a half pound. Let's see uh, how much he actually weighs. Dude, I'm totally saying a half pound. 0.57. Oh! That's a half pound. There we go. A little bit bigger. Actually, a lot bigger, but <laughs> making progress. All right, guys, so we might have found a pattern. We're using this uh, Fisher Brothers Bait Drop Shot DS Minnow in like the kokanee color. We're out here deep trying to get some of these deeper smallmouth drop shot and we're starting to figure it out. Like we were fishing shallow, but it was just, it was tough. So many weeds. I'm getting bit, look. Like... <laughs> oh, now that's a better fish. That's bigger than a half pound, I'm calling it right now. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, okay, we're, we're upgrading. <laughs> you were upgrading, don't say me. <laughs> hey. He might, be a, he might be like a .95 or he might be a pound actually. Come on, buddy. Okay. I bet you it's a pound. Yeah. No. That's what we like to see, top of the mouth. A little drop dive bait. I've literally had this bait for like two or three years. It's crazy. 1.8. All right, so we want that times 10. 
<laughs> well, it's getting better. Getting. Oh, look at his lip. He's got a little weird lip. Look at it. Oh my God, <laughs> Bubba Gump. <laughs> He's got like an underbite. That's so funny. I've never caught a fish like that. He's kind of full. Look at him. All right, guys, let's let this guy go. He's going to go back and bite my... Here, have some of this one. <laughs> there we go. We went a little bit shallower and caught a little bit better fish. Dude, so. each fish has been bigger than the last. Yeah. Let's uh, just keep upgrading like that. Got him. Ooh. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he got one. <laughs> We're still struggling to find those bigger fish, but hey, we're catching fish. That's all that matters. I feel like this rain's gonna pass. Yeah. He's not big though. Here we go. It started raining for like a second, and then uh, it stopped after I put all my camera gear away. And he got this big old bite from a fish not too far away from this one. But we're thinking it was a different fish because he said his was broke off on it. But, yeah, he broke off on his, so it was better. In the same spot. But we just cannot seem to uh, find the better fish. This was our problem in the last video too, so if you guys know what we're doing wrong, let us know. All right guys, so um, we've been fishing for quite a while now and I've only been hooking up with some tiny fish. And uh, we're coming down this bank right here pretty much fishing deep for smallmouth or whatever's out there and we come across this boat right here I'm like is that a turret and look at this thing this is probably the weirdest boat I've ever seen on a lake it's got like the military rankings on the side it has like weird voodoo dolls hanging from the dash I'm gonna like zoom in on this thing when we're done talking this thing is le like legit that's like the it's got solar panels I'm gonna get some closer shots so I can show you but I just wanted to show you guys that because that's the weirdest thing I've ever or the weirdest boat I've ever seen. So you got the dual trolling motors that are hooked up to who knows what. You got the weird never seen before motor. And then you got your solar panels right there, solar panel. And then you have your turret to uh, shoot down intruders. And you got your spotlight, your voodoo dolls up there, military rankings. Definitely a odd boat to see out here fishing like we said I've never been here before never seen it we're gonna keep trying to catch some fish it's been uh, kind of rough out here caught five total biggest being a pound of 1.08 gotta make sure to add that 0.08 in there <laughs> justify how big that fish was we might try to do different things try to get the hang of it and uh, just catch some fish we'll get back at you hey guys so I forgot to turn the camera on but I was using the swim jig out here on this weedy flat oh show them up Yes, fucking! Look how big it is, it's like half the size of his body. <laughs> That's a new one. I haven't seen that. <laughs> he literally hit it, like, probably right there. I just set the hook and he came in the boat. That was funny. We just found a pattern. We need to hit every single spot on the lake that looks just like this. Every point. All right, guys, as you can see, we are back at the boat launch, and uh, today was pretty rough. Like, we did get on some numbers for sure. Probably caught anywhere from like 10 to 15, around that range. Just, they were just all like that small. Just dinkersons. We do not want those. Sadly, that is all we managed to catch. Caught like one one pounder, but that's still not much to brag about. He's going to get the truck right now, and uh, if you guys watched my previous video of the hiking, and we hiked back and did some trout fishing up in the mountains. If you guys like that style of video and you want to see more of the like the hiking, maybe camping style of video, uh, let me know because I'm thinking about starting those kind of videos just to get more content content out to you guys. If you guys like this video, smash that subscribe button and hopefully next time we catch some more fish. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.